Hi there, Obhik here. In this video, we will be creating a portal tooltip with Next.js. And this is not a UI tutorial. This is rather a technical tutorial about how to create a portal using Next.js. So I will go to my terminal first. So what I will do now is I will create a Next app. So for that, I will do is npx create Next app. And then the name of the app. So here I will name it next tutorial. You can give it any name. And then I will press enter. And then it will start creating a Next.js application. Now note here that it might take some time depending on your uh, network and on your system. Now it took me about 5 minutes 30, 33 seconds. So I have opened our project inside the VS Code and you, here. I, you can see that the there is a uh, inside the index.js there will be a, fun, a function home which will have this by default. So inside the p with the class name of styles.description and get started by editing text, I will do is I will give it a tag with class name of tooltip and this is tooltip written here. So this is just for demonstration of why we need portals. So inside the home.module.css the title that is this title we will give it a z index of 12 and the description that, that is the p tag i will give it a padding of dot 5 em background will be spring green and position will be relative along with that i will inside the uh, globals.css the tooltip dot tooltip we will give it a height of 1.5 em padding will be 0.5 em position will be absolute and background will be purple along with that we will give it a top of minus 50 pix pixels and left will be 50 percent and let me save this and let's see it in action so here you can see that the title is actually overlapping the tooltip here now we can fix that using the z index obviously but we need to give it a z index of mo much more than what we have given here and we need to find out z index 12 now this can be easy for such a small application but when the explications get complex then this can be very messy another problem that we might run is so if i have i have given overflow of hidden to description class and if i save it now you can see that it completely disappears now if i lessen the top maybe to 10 pixels then we can see and we can see that actually the overflow is being cut that is because the overflow is hidden here so this is a great problem and we need to solve this and we can solve this using portals so before creating a portal, what we need to do is we need to create a document.js since it, this is Next.js and not create React app. So we don't have any index.html by default. So for that, we need to inside the pages directory, we need to create a underscore document.js. And then we need to import this. And then also we need to render it this like that html head then body inside the body we will have main and next script and then the body will close and then the html will be closed like this and after this main this main will have everything inside the pages directory like index uh, and other different pages and after the main that is below the main we need to have custom div with id of tooltip now this div will render our portal so for that we need this div below the main note that now that we have done with this document we need to create a, I, I'm, I am creating a components directory and inside the component directory I have created a tooltip.js now inside the tooltip.js what I have done is I have imported use ref, use effect and use state also I have imported create portal from react dom now I will create a, a default functional component tooltip and this tooltip will have a, a props as children and, a, and selector the selector prop will be uh, this uh, selector prop will be the id that is passed and here we will pass tooltip so i will come back to that later so and the children will be the, all the elements rendering inside the tooltip so I, I will first of all use state for mounted and set mounted now then i will use effect so that it this uh, tooltip is rendered client side only so inside the use effect we will set the set mounted to true that means after it is loaded so inside the client csr we will have this set mounted to true and return will be set mounted will be false that means that when this component unmounts the mounted value will be false 
and when this component mounts the value will be true and we will pass selected as the dependency now we will return accordingly if mounted is true or false so if it is true then we will create a portal with the children in it and the dom node that is the document.query selector this selector so suppose we pass selector as id uh, uh, this hashtag uh, tooltip so id tooltip means hashtag tooltip so it will get the document.query selector will return a dom node of this div id of tooltip with that we will create a portal otherwise if the mounted is false then we will return null so with that being done so now we will wrap this tooltip component a a class name tooltip with the tooltip component we have created and i will pass the selector as hashtag tooltip so this hash is this id and then i will save it so here you can see our tooltip so you can see here that there is a div with id of tooltip and if you open the div you will get a a with class of tooltip so this is the tooltip so our portal is working fine and why but why is this tooltip above this is a issue and we, i will address this issue later on so let me revise you so how to create a portal with nextjs first thing you need to create a docu underscore document.js and here you need to render html and inside the html tags you need to render the head the body the inside the body will have a main and a next script and below the main and above the next script we will have a div with id of tooltip or any other id you feel right then we will create a component and inside the component we will have the mounted and set mounted state you can give it any name by the way and you will use the use effect and inside the use effect we will set the mounted to true and also we will return set mounted to false that means it will un unmount so uh, and also we will pass the dependency as a sel selector and also we will have the children and selector as the props of this tooltip component so if the mounted is true then we will create the portal and with the pro portal we will create the portal with the children elements as well as we will render these children elements to the dom node of this selector that means the dom.query selector of the selector otherwise we will render null and finally we will so that in children who, which children element or elements which we want to uh, in render inside the portal we will wrap it with our portal component and we will pass the selector with this id of a uh, id of the div we have created here that's it for the portal so now back again with the issue where we are he, uh, here with this issue where this tooltip is rendering above and not here just above this that is because this tooltip is taking the parent as this this div of tooltip and this div does not have any position of relative that's why it is taking the uh, body as the position of relative but we need to fix that so for that what i will do is i will create a constant ref and i will give it use ref null and i've already imported use ref use effect and use state then i will use constant quad and comma set quad is use state and then i will pass an object with which has left and top property and by default they will be zero and on use effect that is after every this component mounts only then we will get a variable let rect and this rect will have this rev dot current dot get bounding client rect and then i will pass uh, i will set the coordinates that is this code to the left will be this rect dot x that is the reference dot currents x value plus uh, width by 2 so that means it is centered in the x axis and the rec dot top minus rec dot height so that it is above the uh, y uh, i mean it is above the uh, uh, ref dot current element whatever that element is it is above that element and then i will pass the ref to this p that is this description and i will pass this style equal to this uh, object destructuring dot 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 chord before so seeing only thing that is left is inside the global dot css we need to give this hashtag tooltip a z index of a very large amount along with that z index of inherit to this tooltip and now you can see that this dot this is a tooltip now it's working absolutely fine so this video was about how to create a portal in nextjs and i have finished that 
so if you want to create a beautiful tooltip like this so you can read this article here by alexander i have linked it in the description and you can go to the code sandbox of that to get a, a better understanding or and responsive create a tooltip like this so thank you for watching this video if you are benefited from this video then do leave a like and comment and subscribe to my channel otherwise thank you for watching this video and for my subscribers thank you for supporting me